Your morning news now. Wildfires continue to burn across the western United States. Among cities with the world's worst air quality, Portland now ranks second. Seattle and San Francisco are also in the top five. President Donald Trump visited California yesterday speaking to top officials. He was optimistic that the high winds and hot weather scientists associate with climate change would reverse course. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden called President Trump a climate arsonist. His running mate Kamala Harris is traveling to California today for a briefing on the fires. Alabama, Louisiana and parts of the Florida Panhandle have declared a state of emergency as Hurricane Sally approaches. The storm quickly changed from a tropical storm into a Category 2 hurricane yesterday. It has since dropped to a Category 1. Despite losing some wind intensity, Sally remains a very serious threat to the Gulf Coast and is forecasted to make landfall tonight or early tomorrow. Yeah, heavy rain is going to be a big threat with Sally around here. It's going to be windy and warmer. Check out these high temperatures, lower 80s for places like Menominee, Eau Claire, uh, Cadott and Thorpe in the upper 70s. 84 in the cross today, uh, lots of spots in the lower to middle 80s and areas to the south. 80 in Caledonia, Wacan, 82 today in Linksville. Happening today, President Donald Trump will oversee the signing of historic diplomatic deals. A White House ceremony will host more than 700 guests on the South Lawn to witness the sealing of agreements between Israel and two Gulf Arab nations. The United Arab Emirates last month agreed to normalize ties with Israel under a U.S. brokered agreement. The deal could dramatically shift power dynamics in the Middle East. Authorities are still looking for the person who shot two Los Angeles County deputies in an ambush over the weekend. The county sheriff says the fact that the pair survived is a miracle. Detectives have not yet identified a suspect and after donations from two private donors, a reward has been increased to $175,000. Those who serve in law enforcement deserve the respect of every American every day. At his campaign stop in Janesville, Wisconsin yesterday, Vice President Mike Pence highlighted Donald Trump's commitment to law and order. He praised law enforcement officers for, quote, putting their lives on the line, end quote. Pence also credited the president with stopping violence in Kenosha after the shooting of Jacob Blake sparked outrage in parts of the city. Trump dispatched about 200 federal officers to Kenosha after Governor Tony Evers activated the Wisconsin National Guard. The Team Trump bus tour made a stop in Alaska yesterday. Republican leaders are traveling the country to rally support for the president's re-election and Republican candidates up and down the ballot. The co-chair of the Republican National Committee says they have a grassroots army of more than two million people and it's important for them to work hard to get out the vote. More than one million voters who requested absentee ballots in Wisconsin will start seeing them arrive in the mail. The Wisconsin Supreme Court has rejected a request from a Green Party presidential candidate to be added to the state's November ballot. The 4-3 to three ruling clears the way for local clerks to resume mailing absentee ballots. An online petition is circulating asking University of Wisconsin-Madison officials to return some, if not all, of the nearly $750 they've charged students for service and amenity fees this semester. The student who started the petition says with the campus already closed for the next week and possibly the rest of the semester, students won't be able to utilize the services they are paying for. The full tuition refund deadline was last Friday, but the university chancellor says they may push that back. After multiple days of setting COVID-19 records, the one day total of cases in La Crosse County has gone down. 45 new cases were confirmed in the county yesterday. That is the lowest one day increase of cases since last Wednesday. Nearly 1,800 cases have been reported since the start of the pandemic. People who are ages 10 to 29 are the majority of new cases, accounting for 42 of the county's 45 cases yesterday. Today's a big day for our local schools playing this fall as Wisconsin high school soccer and volleyball will have their first regular season games. We'll have coverage of the action coming up tonight during News 8 Now at 6 and 10. This morning, the Eagle Landmark statue at Riverside Park is being removed for repairs. There may be some road closures or delays because of it. The Eagle was dedicated in 1987 and donated by the DB and Marjorie Reinhardt family. 
It will return to Riverside once repairs are complete. Well, just some high clouds and haze uh, overhead right now as we await the uh, sunrise. Uh, temperatures are mild, upper 50s to low 60s, thanks in part to a southerly breeze, which will increase today from the south southwest 10 to 20, gusting to 35, and that's going to help warm temperatures nicely with highs in the lower to middle 80s and a lot of that hazy sunshine continuing. We want to thank you for sharing your morning with us. We hope you have a great Tuesday. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.